Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. So, something that unusual for me, I have a red lip on. I never, ever, ever, ever have a red lip on when I'm filming, but wow, is this color beautiful. It's so pretty. Um, if you're wondering what's on my eyes, it's from my Natasha Denona Glam um, palette video, which I will link above in the cards for you, either whatever side it's on, I always get confused. Um, but today I just wanted to talk about some Lisa Eldridge lipsticks that I picked up. And the reason I ended up getting them is because she restocks twice a year, I think. And so I didn't really want to wait until next year to try them because I've been wanting to try her formula for like a bit now. So I thought I would give it a go um, and do some lip swatches with you guys and show you what I got. So I'm not unboxing in this video. I've already unboxed it because I just, I couldn't wait. I needed to do my, you know, photos and whatever. And I mean, I didn't even do greatest, the greatest photos, but I just wanted to open it up and see. I wanted to do the swatches, see how it felt on the lips. So I could really let you know. So when you order, it depends what you get, I guess. I ended up ordering the custom set of three. Um, I was thinking of getting one of our holiday sets, but with like a lip liner and gloss as well. But I think I'm more interested in trying just her lipstick formula for now. So maybe that'll be for another time. I just keep checking because I don't want to have red lipstick on my teeth the whole time while I'm filming here. So um, you get them in this beautiful little velvet pouch. Now you can choose which color you want. And I think I picked the emerald green because hello, what other color would I choose? Um, but you can get it in like a kind of deep burgundy type of tone and you can also get it in the navy blue. And it's just a cute little pouch velvet with a zipper. It's so pretty. And then it just has her signature on top. It's so soft. So when you get your package, it comes in a box. It's got all this paper stuffing, actually similar to what's in here. Um, and then in here are where your lipsticks are and they've got the packaging in there as well. And the packaging for the lipsticks comes in boxes that look like this. So they say Lisa Eldridge and then one side has her, um, her signature and the other side has the true velvet lip or true velvet lip color printed on there. And the colors are printed on the tops. So mine are already out of the box. The actual lipstick tubes, I've shown you guys, I'm going to show you guys close-ups of these, but these are basically what they look like. Um, they are a magnetic closure, so they're, you know, they snap right back, which is awesome. This is how magnetic they are. They kind of like, they, do you see that? I don't know. I'm going to have to show you guys a video of me putting them like, but they repel. Like, I'm not doing this on purpose, but they're repelling one another. It's such a strong magnet like here this is how strong two lids okay do, do you see like <laughs> they're very strong magnets um, okay so just so you can get an idea of the packaging each lipstick comes in a gold tube that looks like this and then it has her signature right on the top there and then the shade names are on the bottom. So every tube is exactly the same. So the packaging on these, like A++, like they're so good. Um, so the shades that I got are, I got the shade Velvet Fawn, which is like a beautiful, like kind of mauve pinky nude color. Um, and then I got the shade Velvet Blush, which is kind of a kind of like a berry pink that's how I would describe this one it's like a berry pink shade and then I got velvet jazz which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now it is a very deep kind of cool toned blue tone red and I think it looks absolutely beautiful some of the photos I took I feel like it came off a little bit brighter than it should have so I don't know if I need to do some editing to make it look more true to color but it like you can tell here it's quite deep you can tell on my lips it's quite deep so the photos on the thumbnail and the photos I post on Instagram probably do not replicate them exactly the same um, I'm gonna go ahead and insert me swatching them on my lips I mean you've already seen this one but if you want to see what a live swatch of it looks like then just keep watching Buscaba una 
así y por fin te conseguí Desde que te vi yo me enloquecí Buscaba aún así y por fin te conseguí Y ahora en mi corazón tú estás y ya no quiero a nadie más Te digo que quiero pasarla mamacita vámonos de fiesta So there it is. I mean, this video is going to be super quick and super short. It's just three lipsticks. I don't really know how much more I can say. Um, I will actually swatch them for you just on my arm here. <laughs> I have some eyeshadow swatching from earlier. So I will go ahead and swatch them for you as well so you can see what they look like on um, just like my arm as a swatch. So here is Velvet Fawn. Hang on. Oh. Okay, so Jennifer Just Glow Firefly actually warned about how soft these are. Frick, it's like falling everywhere. I have lipstick all over my pants, but it basically it just fell out of the tube. That's okay. I'll contact um, I'll contact their customer service. That kind of sucks, but I should have known better. Um, I was just trying to swatch it for you guys, and there it went. So make sure you don't pull them up too high out of the tube. There's Velvet Fawn. It's kind of a bummer considering how expensive these are, but they are very, very creamy. Um, the next one here is going to be Velvet Blush. Now I'm kind of scared to... Applying them to the lips, it wasn't so bad, I think, when you're swatching on your arm because you're trying to go a little bit different angle. That's probably what it is. And then this one is the red. There you go. So there's the three shades I picked. I kind of went with like a nude, a medium, and a dark because I thought what better way than to be able to try them and let you guys know my thoughts than to actually be able to try out like a variety of colors. Look at how <laughs> my hand is so stained or my arm is so stained, I should say, but absolutely love it. It doesn't seem to like transfer onto my teeth, which is really nice because I find that with a lot of lipstick that's a huge problem um so I'm really liking how it's feeling on the lips it's super comfortable it's very like dry matte so it feels kind of like how a liquid matte lipstick would feel on your lips but comfortable if that makes sense um but yeah that's how it feels it feels really really nice I want to do like a transfer test because I don't know okay so it does transfer but it's not like a lot of transfer that's actually not too bad for, you know, like a lipstick that deep. So um, that's kind of impressive. It's not too bad. I feel like this would be really easy to layer and reapply. It doesn't seem to kind of go crumbly or cakey. And it looks so beautiful. Like it looks like velvet on the lips. So whatever she's calling it is exactly what it is. I don't really know what more I can tell you. I think the colors are absolutely stunning i'm so glad that i picked these up i'm really bummed that my velvet fawn has broken um it's really sad but i'm going to see if i can contact their customer service and if they can do anything about that one because those are pricey um i'm also gonna insert a clip for you guys actually because i want to show you how much these actually repel i'm gonna record it on my hang on. i want to show you guys how much oops, I want to show you guys how much these actually repel one another because they don't like they don't stay close at all so I'm gonna record it on my phone I'm just gonna insert over here over when I'm talking but watch like I'll push one in do you see like watch <laughs> it's so weird ignore like all my dirty stuff over there from swatching and whatnot and my mess from filming earlier but look at that isn't that so like they're not even touching and it's just like yeah I thought that was really cool it was really interesting but they do repel one another so I don't know how closely you want to store them to each other but they're super beautiful I love the formula and I love the shades that I picked so yeah from what I heard their customer service is excellent um I will let you guys know maybe I'll pin a comment down in the comments below once I hear back from their customer service to let you guys know how quick and easy and efficient it was to deal with them
but it's really unfortunate that it did break. So when you do get these, just keep in mind that they're very soft because of the way the formula is. So don't pull the tube up all the way. Don't go in too hard on your lips. I didn't have any difficulty with them when I was applying them to my lips, like you'll see in, or like you've seen in um, the Elias swatching. I didn't have any problems at all. They didn't break, they didn't melt, whatever. But as soon as I went to swatch that one in, I don't know if it's just that one that's a little bit softer. I think for um, Jennifer Just Glow Firefly, hers was um, a nude-ish shade too, I think. I don't really know. Um, it's unfortunate, but it's okay. It is what it is. I've heard good things about their customer service, so I'm not going to get too worked up about it. So hopefully they are able to help me out with that. But yeah, um, that's all for this video today, you guys. It was a really quick, short, sweet one. I just wanted to show you the colors, my thoughts on the formula, how it transfers. I think it wears, wears, it wears, wears. It wears pretty good so far. I don't know how it's going to do when I eat and stuff, but um Maybe I'll keep it on while I'm having dinner. I don't really know. I don't know if I want to do that. We'll see. If you guys want like a wear test, let me know. Maybe I'll wear the nude one or something uh, one of these days and I can give you guys an update on that on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please go ahead and do so. It's right here. It's at Ruby Minhas. Um, also, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you picked up any of the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and how you feel about them. Do you feel like they're worth the money? I kind of think that they are, but they are a little bit expensive. So it is a little bit of a investment, you know, but if you're really into this kind of formula, I think you'll really enjoy these. They feel a lot more comfortable than a liquid lip, but they do transfer. So do keep that in mind. My favorite liquid lipstick formula so far is Too Faced uh, Melted Mattes. Those ones I feel like don't transfer at all. And they're the most comfortable to wear from all the ones that I've tried. Um, but this will transfer, but the feeling of it is so good. Like my lips don't feel overly dry. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. I would love for you to join our little family here on YouTube. I love this little community that we've built. And um, I think that I've just come across so many wonderful people and I love it here so much. Uh, so thank you to all that are so welcoming. And, you know, let's just keep building our little community here because I think it's great. Um, but do give me a chance and subscribe if you don't want to. I mean, that's cool too. I'm not really going to get too bummed about it, but I would love for you to subscribe. Uh, you can always subscribe and change your mind later as well if that's something you want to think of besides that throw me a thumbs up if you're into this video and this kind of content and let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below i love to hear your feedback and your ideas and all that kind of stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video i guess that's probably all for this one but have a great day stay blessed i love you Mwah.